Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your tutor is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. I'll be taking you in agriculture, Form 1, today. We are in Lesson 9. The topic is Factors Influencing Agriculture, and subtopic we have the soil profile. On to the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Number one, define the term soil profile. And number two, explain the various layers that are contained in a soil profile. And from the definition, we can define a, a, a soil profile as the vertical arrangement of different soil layers that is from the parent rock up to the earth surface. As you can see from this diagram here, it is very illustrated. Uh, from the bottom, we have the parent rock and followed by uh, substratum. Then as you move upward, we go to subsoil, then topsoil, and finally we have the superficial layer. And in between the, every two layers, there is a boundary that is we, we refer to as the transitional zone. The transition zone, we can define it as a layer that, is, that borders any two layers of soil, and therefore it merges, it gradually merges into the next uh, layer in the series. And therefore it gradually changes from the bottom layer to the top layer. Then we have, um, in the uppermost layer, we have superficial layer, it is rich in leaf, uh, or decomposing leaf, which forms the leaf litter. Then it is rich in humans uh, content. Then we go to the topsoil, it is very uh, rich in humus, which is mixed with mineral salts. And most of the plant roots are found in this region, the second region, uh, which is the topsoil. Then we have uh, in the third region, that is the subsoil, it is also referred to as a layer of accumulation because all the nutrients which are, are, are removed or reached from the topsoil will accumulate at the, uh, th this layer, that is the subsoil. Then finally we have the bedrock, uh, and that bedrock is the one which is uh, found at the bottommost region. Then we have characteristic of the topsoil, we can highlight them, number one. It is the uppermost layer. Number two, it appears dark. As I have said, it is rich in humus content. And that's the reason why it appears dark in color, because humus is dark. Then it is where I rated. Uh, this it allows free circulation of air. As we know, air is very, very important because the soil contains living organism, and living organism needs oxygen to carry out uh, the process of respiration so that they can have energy. Uh, then they contain the uh, active microorganism and those active microorganisms are referred to as microbes and some of them are, microbes are microscopic while others are uh, the big organism like worms which you can easily see them. Then we have the plant root is also a living organism which is uh, found in the, in the root uh, in the soil. Then it is well aerated. This topsoil is well aerated. It means that it allows the water to penetrate. Uh, then number seven, we have contained most of nutrients. Actually, most of the nutrients are found here, and that's the reason why most of plant roots are located at this particular layer. Then we, uh, I will portray a diagram that shows uh, the layers and Another name of the layers, it, it, they are referred to as horizon. So the topsoil is the one which is referred to as horizon A, as you can see it on the topmost part. Then it is followed by the subsoil, uh, that is horizon B, and C, that is the substratum. Then we have the D, where we have the bedrock or parent material. And in the parent material, we have the pods of water, as we are going to discuss it later. Then we have characteristic of subsoil. Um, number one, we have it is more compact. It is not aggregated. And number two, 
are less aerated means that the particles are close together, meaning that the air spaces are not wide enough. And this is why we normally say it is uh, not uh, well aerated, it is less aerated. It allows less uh, circulation of air. Then we have presence of hard pan. This hard pan is formed, these are layers which are very hard and therefore they impede penetration of water and therefore they interfere with water infiltration, uh, soil aeration, and also it is very, very difficult to break them during primary cultivation. Then we have accumulated mineral salts, and that's why I said it is also referred to as a layer of uh, accumulation, as a result of accumulation of leached mineral salts. Uh, then we have the characteristic of substratum, uh, that is the horizon sea. Uh, it is partly weathered, be, meaning that it is made up of part, uh, partly weathered rock. Then there is no humus content. Uh, and number three, we have it is impermeable to water. It does not allow water to penetrate. Then we have characteristic of the parent rock. That is the last bottom uh, layer, and it contains pods of water. And actually, uh, plants of deep-rooted plants normally uh, move up to this region where they can seek for water and absorb that water uh, during dry season. Then we have impermeable uh, to water, and therefore, and that's why it will allow the water to accumulate, uh, from resorting to the formation of the pods. We have effects of soil uh, profile on agriculture. Uh, I'm going to discuss in terms of uh, well-developed soil profile and also undeveloped soil profile. A deep soil contains a well-developed soil profile, and therefore it contains uh, a lot of nutrients, it, it is well aerated, it is well drained, and therefore it has a high potential for agriculture. Then on the other hand, we will look at the shallow soil. The sh shallow, shallow soil is normally formed, uh, especially where we have a steep slope, or where the, the, the underlying uh, material is the rock, and therefore they are poorly uh, drained and also they don't have high potential for agricultural uh, production because they don't have, uh, they have l uh, low soil fertility and therefore they cannot uh, sustain uh, life as far as uh, plants life is concerned. Then we have, uh, uh, I will wind up the lesson by giving you some question and the question number one will define the term soil profile as we have discussed. Number two, we have draw a well-labeled uh, structure of soil profile. And finally, uh, if there is someone uh, who uh, would like to, um, to refer, you can use this reference uh, from the Student Agriculture Book One, uh, that edition, and the, literature, the, the publisher is uh, the Kenya Literature Bureau. Then for more information, if you would like us uh, to help you with um, more clarification or for, for more information, you can well reach us through these addresses. The first one, we, we have the SMS. You can use the number, which is well displayed there. And the second, you can use the YouTube at Elim TV. Then we have the Facebook. You can use Elim TV. And finally, we have uh, the Twitter at elimu underscore ke. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to Elimu TV for more information. Thank you.